Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to my channel, The Lightroom Blog. It's Tuesday, making it Lightroom Tuesday, and today we're going to talk about the connection between importing from Lightroom Classic CC to Lightroom CC online, as in the mobile version. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the connection via import and how you get the stuff to actually go and sync automatically, and then how you can export to Instagram and things like that. So here's a shoot that I have on the card that I'm just going to import. The key thing to bring in here when we're actually working is to add to collection to make sure that it goes to a collection that is then brought up online. If I click add to collection, I'm giving an option to create a new collection and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Christmas lights, I'm going to call this. And the key thing here is to sync with Lightroom CC and that will upload smart preview versions of this to the cloud. Now you have to remember they're only smart preview. And um, if you want original versions online, you have to use Lightroom CC. Now there isn't a particularly good way of using both Lightroom CC desktop and Lightroom Classic together. They don't quite work the same way and they don't share keywords. So for me right now, because the bulk of the features are in Lightroom Classic. I am using Classic. So I click Create. And that is going to get created. And when I click Import, they will be imported into that collection. Um, so come down here to my collections. And of which I have many. We can see they're coming in here, but we can see we got Edel Christmas lights, and that is going up online because that thing is synced to there basically. So as you can see, I have Lightroom Mobile up here on my phone, and we can see that I'm in the collection Edel Christmas lights, and we can see that the images are syncing up here. We can see on the desktop it says syncing 323 photos, and as that drops down, we see there's more of them showing up here in my collections or this particular collection. Now I'm just going to pick a random image. I have no idea if this particular image is actually in focus or anything like that. It's just an image that I am going to bring up. And no, that's not in focus. I can see the hand is in focus there. That one looks a little bit better. So if I want, I can come into light here. I can pull my highlights down a bit to try and bring back the little stuff in the hands. I bring up my overall exposure, my contrast. Uh, open up the shadows a bit. Bring up the contrast a bit more even. And I go to color and bring up some vibrance. Hit saturation there instead. Vibrance rather than saturation. And what other options do I have that I want to use here? And um, effects, I'm going to use a bit of clarity and a vignette. Okay. Um, so now just do a force sync for a second. And that, in theory, will come up. So there's 8990. And here we go, 8990, we now see has been edited. So that is a basic look at getting an image straight off your card up into Lightroom Mobile for editing. If you're wondering how I got to change the information or got that information to show up. It's just a two finger tap on the image. It'll go to the histogram and then tap again, it'll go off. And again, it'll come on and cycle through them and so on. You can also share by clicking on the share icon. And then that'll give you a couple of different share options. In this case, I can go share small and I could choose to, for example, do copy to Instagram. And that will then go to open in my Instagram account. And you would just then basically cycle through the Instagram information there to actually be able to post it to your Instagram. 
Hey folks, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please, please, please give me a thumbs up on the video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, we do do videos on Tuesdays and Fridays, Lightroom and Tuesdays and photo related stuff on Fridays with occasional extra videos thrown in when I get a chance. It's been pretty busy around here, so not as much chance as I want, even though I have ideas for so many videos. If you want to get notified every time a new video comes out, do hit the bell. That will be great for you and great for me. And of course, folks, I do appreciate you taking time to watch these videos and I will see you in the next one.